we have five days to get this house and this land ready for two separate very important guests. We are Casey and Savannah and we are best friends that decided to buy land together. We left the city to pursue a life off grid where we can grow our own food and live more simply. My dad and stepmom will be coming to our land this weekend on Saturday for the first time ever and they've never seen it so we want it to be in tip top shape. Then on Sunday one of our best friends from Nashville is coming into town and she actually came to the land with us the day that we moved here. She is the one, her and her husband, who lent us their camper to stay in, live in, while we were building other things on the land. So she hasn't seen any projects in person that we have done. When she came here with us, this is what the land looked like. So the list of things we'd like to get done is long let me tell you and I do not have faith that we can get it all done but we sure are going to try it's already two o'clock in the afternoon and we have to go into town and get supplies to complete some of these projects so we better get on the road this week is to put compost down in several places in our garden and the only kind of compost you can get around here is mushroom compost I've been trying to call for days the one place that I knew that sold it in bulk and they won't answer the phone so we had just like fine we're just gonna buy bags of it and be done with it and that's what we're one of the things we're going to get today that's a police officer coming out of the plant store with pants <laughs> 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 he literally just walked out with a tray of plants. <laughs> yeah. I've, this is all from this standing in like one place. As you were wondering also. <laughs> You're doing that on camera, I hope you know. Look at her. Oh, oh hello. think we're hurting for strawberries here. Of course, this is the third time we've picked strawberries, but definitely the, the most we've gotten so far. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you can really tell how big this is. It looks so small when you're holding it like that. That's a big honking, honking. thing. And then that, this one. We have a lot of work to do with those. Yeah, because we like to clean them, chop the tops off. Put them in the freezer. We leave some for fresh eating, but you could pick them every day, really. Yes. For fresh eating. For fresh eating. Is your toy supposed to be outside, Hazel? Okay, my last task to do before it gets too dark to do anything else is I want to drill a hole in this. So while we were in Texas on a stock tank pool slash family visit trip, we went to the world's largest flea market in Canton, Texas. And I grew up in Texas, so I've been there before, but Casey has always wanted to go and it just happened to fall on the day 
that we one of the days that we were going to be there and so we kind of like moved our schedule around so that we could actually make it there and we found these bread bowls that were ridiculously cheap which i understand that this being like 25 dollars means that it's not necessarily a really high quality wood or even product but you know if you have watched our bathroom build you know that we started making basically the same thing but a little deeper actually a lot deeper out of a log which honestly would be so much cooler if we finished that project but it's taken a lot of time and we figured if we could get this one and just drill the hole in it get it all sealed up it would be a lot faster than if we tried to finish the one that we were making by ourselves i hope this works it'll make everything a lot easier let me show you wait a minute I see. This is the drain we got to put in here. Oh, <clears throat> there we go. It's gold. So I basically just need to drill a hole this size for this to fit in. And I got a hole saw that's supposed to be the right size. I'll tell you, I have 8 million hole saws because we install stock tanks. And, and we just do a lot of plumbing. And... I didn't have the size, of course, so I had to buy another one. So the idea is I'm going to get this hole drilled today and it'll just be all ready for me to start sealing it either tomorrow or whenever I have a spare moment because I've got to do like three to, four, three to five coats to make this wood really the right, um, what's it called? Yeah, that's gonna be right. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I have to do three to five coats and then you have to wait in between each coat. So it'll probably take me two days just to get the coats on. And I just wanna make sure I can get the hole in and not break it before I even start that process. Cause if I break it for whatever reason, that would really stink. All right, let's just see if we can get it drilled. We had to go in to town today for a meeting that we totally forgot about. And it took basically half the day. It's already three o'clock. So this morning before we left, I ran out here and found the stuff to put the first coat on the sink. I'm using this Total Boat Gleam 2.0. And I did a lot of research and that is really what I thought was going to be the best for this sink because this is not going to need to be like a food safe sink or anything like that. Uh, the only thing it will be used for is draining water. So this is going to make it the most waterproof. Don't touch that Hazel. Hazel has decided to join me in this mess. You can only put three coats on in a day and then you have to wait 48 hours and then you can put the fourth coat on. Um, they say to do four to six coats and I was leaning more towards six But I wouldn't get to do anything with the sink until Saturday night and people are coming Saturday at lunchtime. So I Don't exactly know how many coats I'm gonna end up doing. We're just gonna see how it goes Okay. Basically, it does not take a lot, but this stuff is so sticky. So I oh gosh just Pour a little in there like really not that much at all and then also a teensy bit of the thinner okay well that wasn't a teensy bit I think I might put a little more of this in there this stuff's so sticky I got it on my hands earlier bad bad call this stuff is so thin but let's get the coat on I just 
just got all dressed got my overalls on my boots on I'm ready to do some work outside and literally as I was putting my boots on it started thundering that's thunder extra plants that we don't necessarily have space for so I'm gonna fill this whole green stock full of just tomatoes and figure out how much how many pounds of tomatoes I can grow in just this one I think it's like it takes four square feet of space we've had these set up but I just need to top them off the soil settled so I'm just putting mushroom compost up here and dropping some and then I'll plant tomatoes in here. This is the uh, five tier original. Um, I'm excited because one thing I do love about this and I wish we had another one full of strawberries or like beans. So there's things that you have to like get on your hands and knees to um, harvest and if these were hanging strawberries it'd be so much easier to pick than how we have ours. Same thing with like any kind of bush bean or pole bean, it's just so much easier to harvest like this as opposed to walking around on the ground hunting for them. Yeah. Please see how different it looks out here now. It's like dark. What is it doing right now? Raining. <laughs> nice. I have completed the tiny little deck platform. You're being recorded. <laughs> oh, I just saw lightning. I don't know what your risk assessment is. Uh, mm. That felt really close. Yeah. Oh, okay. We have seen lightning, so time to go inside. Show must not go on. Yeah, we are so close to getting that thing planted but not gonna happen right now. She's like, don't you want me to pitch? Oh, yes. <laughs> I 
have now got the leaf planter on its platform and this is looking real nice. I think this is the best red romaine lettuce we've ever grown and period. Ground, raised bed, anything. Casey's almost done planting. Yeah, the soil marks all over the outside of the grain stalk are interesting, but looking good. Got the peach tree right there. This is the time that the kitties come home. Hi, Sanford. That's Blair. Blair Walmart. And that over there is Serena. She's the first one that was here. Serena, Serena Vander Vanderwoodson and Blair Waldorf Sanford. I saw the flashes in the dark, colors on the wall, right against the monochrome, where I felt so small. I drew the curtains up, pulled away the blinds. So this is the sink that is in its 48 hour waiting period, drying period, before I can coat it again. But I'm gonna go ahead and take some measurements and start working on the shelf that's going to be going underneath it and create our little vanity sink area. working on putting the trellises on the green stock. We got our little plant support bags in. Each bag has one ring in it. So I've got the first parts on. We opted to do the three top tiers because we will attach the bottom ones, probably with twine or something, to this one. And then the rest of them will have as much support as possible. All right, there we go. It kind of looks like a spaceship, but <laughs> we're ready for the tomatoes to grow, grow, grow. She's still carrying her babies. Let me catch you up on what I have been working on. So I've laid down pine straw, which clearly I need to move off. This is our, the dahlia bed and the dye garden. This is like peppers and cabbage. Um, so I've laid compost down in here, added some chicken manure fertilizer, like that's pelletized. And I'm doing that all on this row, mulched this row. This looks so beautiful. So this is mostly an herb bed and it's one of the most pitiful looking ones, but now it looks so much better and put some 
uh, what is it, pine nuggets in here, which we hope to do on all the other rows. But this tomato bed looks good, and I put some marigolds throughout here. I planted nine nazillion tomatillos. So I, this dirt, gosh, let me show you this dirt, how terrible it is. I mean, it is just like, it's, it's terrible. It's, it is like a rock. Look at this, hang on, this, I mean, it's just, I can't even crumble it well with my hands. So when I planted this, the tomatillas in here, I added compost and some, you know, veggie garden soil. So to hope to improve the quality. These are coming up so well. Um, the, the plan in the next couple of weeks is to get all of this composted and mulched, which is gonna take an eternity. The rose garden. So this is finally attached, it's in the ground. Finally got, um, what is this called? Honeysuckle gold flame, I think is what the variety is called. And it is really pretty. So pretty. So that will, you know, grow up the sides. And we got all of this. It still needs to be like made more neat on the edges, but it looks like a real garden of sorts. And you know, this we had kind of mulched and done already. This rose bush right here is thriving, and it's probably one of my favorite roses. It's called State of Grace. I thought it died. And so I bought another one, which is this one, but it didn't. It is thriving. Yes, when I zoom out like this, I'm like, oh goodness, I need to clean out the edges. I mean, ideally we'd get some edging and this is gonna be filled with another wood chip, but it's coming together. When I've showed you all this work, I'm like, how has this taken me so many days? But it has like getting first of all I've I've planted a lot more things than I've shown and putting all that compost down and mulching it is tedious and labor intensive and just takes a long time it is much easier to prep your beds and then plant but also sometimes it's kind of hard to plant in a bed that's already been mulched not pine straw mulched but if you've done wood chips, it's kind of annoying. All that to say, definitely team, get your beds ready in the winter and fall so that in the springtime you can just plant and everything's easier. Doing all of this after the fact is much harder, but it's, it's what we have going on. It's better late than ever. Said the master at work. <laughs> I see that it only worked in some places. That's like I mean, I thought I was gonna have to touch it up. So I think that's what happened when we did that girls. I think mm -hmm. We did the same thing, and the same problem happened. Yeah, but I can wait now and then touch it up when it's dry. We have exactly 17 hours until our first guests arrive and we are filling up the stack tank pool. Um, you can see back there the one we just moved from here and this is the one we brought back from Texas. And uh, Casey started peeling off the tape for the paint over there so you can kind of see the pattern a little better. 
but this side still needed to dry. So we still have to do a lot of cleanup. So it's gonna be a late night, but basically every night this week has been a super late night and it's gotten pretty chaotic and I haven't recorded that much. So I figured that once we get everything cleaned up, I right before the guests come, I can just show you exactly what we've gotten done. We've gotten a lot done, but it's just been pretty crazy. Like some nights we've eaten dinner at 10 p.m., which is very unnormal for us. So I better get back to work. All right, guys, it has been a wild week. We were able to get a lot done. I think we got more done this entire week than we've gotten done in like months before. <laughs> um, cannot wait to take a break, but our friend is on her way. She should be here any minute. Obviously I just woke up. We got some more things done that were not on the list and then we didn't get some things done that were sort of on the list like painting inside the house. None of that got done. Casey spent most of the day, most all days outside in the garden doing things that need to be done there and something that got added to the list was getting our stock tank pool set up and ready so i painted that and it is ready to go did not get the sink installed all the way i did get it totally um sealed so casey helped me with that we got it sealed i built the little shelf that it's going on so i should be able to install that very easily and hopefully the next video you guys see will be a tour of our bathhouse because it is so close to being done so close i gotta go thank you so much for watching we will see you next time i saw the flashes in the dark colors on the wall right against the monochrome where i felt so small I drew the curtains up